So a number of people have asked me how I connect and um, different services together. Uh, and I thought it would be a good time to kind of cover IFTTT or if this then that.com. But in particular in this instance, I want to give you some examples of how it connects between different services and Hue. And so I'm going to give you my five top applets uh, that I use that connect some service through to Philips Hue. Before that though, I'll give you a little bit more information about what is IFTTT itself and kind of why you'd want to use it. So what exactly is ifttt.com or if this then that? So it's a free automation service uh, that sits in the cloud. It's free for the people that are using it like myself. I believe how it's monetized is the vendors that have added themselves into IFTTT. Uh, they have to pay a fee, but me as an end user, um, I can uh, say for myself I've never had to pay anything, so that's great. And as well as making your own automations in there, uh, so automating how you interact with your lights, uh, Netatmo, anything that they basically support as a service, as well as creating your own automations, there's a bunch of existing applets there as well. And so what I sometimes do is once I've created my own, I go and search to see what other applets are available because uh, it's a great kind of source of uh, other inventive things you could do uh, by connecting two different home automation devices that I wouldn't have kind of thought about doing myself. They're always adding new stuff, uh, so there's two things I would recommend you doing in order to be able to keep yourself up to date. So the first is there's a newsletter you can subscribe to. I know that seems a bit old school, uh, whether it's the newsletter or the blog, I get notifications of new services that are being added every so often. Uh, and the other thing you probably want to do is for the services that you are using, if possible, get the system to notify you when new actions, uh, so things that would happen, or new triggers, uh, conditions it's waiting for, um, occur. And so when new ones of those get added, you want to be notified uh, that they're there because it might be something that you've just kind of been waiting for to, to get enabled on that particular service. So why would you use IFTTT, you might be asking yourself. Well, one of the things is automation running in the cloud. So if you don't want to be running automation locally or you don't really have that as an option, then actually running it in the cloud is uh, a nice way forward. And a number of the automations I have uh, are indeed running in IFTTT. I recommend the ones that you want to kind of run in the cloud in this instance are probably ones that don't need to fire instantly me walking into a room and a light coming on, but more can have a, you know, like a few seconds delay, as sometimes there is indeed a, a delay with the, the service. The second thing it's really good for, actually, is being able to link um, services together, uh, so Philips Hue and Netatmo, for example, that might not naturally go together or don't have direct integration, so don't natively work together. And because basically you can take pretty much anything that's on IFTTT as a service and plug it into another thing that's on IFTTT as a service, you know, the, the amount of combinations and the possibilities is almost endless. Um, so think of it as also a, a glue to stick together two bits of home automation that you might already have, but don't necessarily work together inherently. So applet number one is a little applet that tells us when our baby is crying and we happen to be out of earshot of the baby monitor. So as you can see from here, uh, when the Netatmo module, so the little indoor station that happens to sit in her room, reaches a noise level of 50 decibels, uh, the hue lights uh, blink in our back garden. And that means that if we're sitting out in the back garden, relaxing in the evening, uh, we can still uh, know if our little baby is crying or not. And then obviously go and check she's okay. So applet number two also uses the Netatmo, but this time the outdoor module. Uh, so when the station that's uh, in our garden uh, reaches zero degrees Celsius, so it's freezing outside, Again, it'll tell one of the hue bulbs to change colour 
and in this instance it's the kitchen sofa light that's almost like our notification light and what it will do is it will change it blue uh, to kind of remind me that it's cold outside and I, I probably need to do something about covering up the car or covering up vegetables or, or whatever it is um, interestingly enough uh, it's worth noting the, all of these things down somewhere uh, a couple of times I have had this appear blue and entirely forgotten why uh, only to go through IFTTT and find out, oh yeah, it's that it's freezing outside. So yeah, that's applet number two. So applet number three uh, actually uses the location of my iPhone uh, and performs an action when uh, that leaves a particular area. So in this instance, uh, when I happen to leave work, um, it goes to the hue light bulb, again the kitchen sofa light. And as you can see here, it turns it green. And that's just like a polite reminder to my wife that I'm now leaving work and I'm on my way home. Obviously, given the current com, current uh, circumstances, that hasn't fired for quite some time. But hopefully one day I'll be able to go back into work. Uh, and indeed, this will then start to trigger again. So applet number four I'd like to share with you has actually got something to do with Amazon Alexa. And so one of the things you might do is set a timer on the Alexa device. So you're boiling an egg or you need to know when 10 minutes of watching TV is up and it's time for your son or daughter to go to bed. And so what we've got here is actually when uh, the Amazon Alexa device hits zero, i.e. the timer is up, it again goes to my hue light and in this instance it goes to a group of them, so the kitchen lights and it will flash all of those lights, or rather make them blink, uh, so you know that the timer is kind of completed. So that was applet number four. It's so the last applet that I wanted to talk you through, so number five, is to do with Strava. So when I complete an activity in Strava, as you can see here, it actually goes to the kitchen sofa light, again that notification light that I have, uh, and turns it orange. And that way, my wife knows that I've finished my run with a running club and I'm probably on my way back soon. So that was applet number five. So I hope those IFTTT applets integrating into Hue have given you some th food for thought. Hopefully you can use some of them yourself. Uh, and please do share in the comments other ideas that you've had, maybe a link to your applet if that's possible really like to understand what other people are doing uh, and see if there's anything I could be using myself. Thank you very much.